Hi, my crafty friends. It's good to see you. And if you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. If you want to see tutorials on various types of crafts, you're in the right place. Today I'll show you how to make plastic look just like wood. And I'll decorate it with butterflies, some 3D sunflowers, and bumblebees. I'll turn a white plastic cutting board into a wood look wall hanging. If you're ready, let's make a mess. I bought this cutting board at the dollar store. And the first thing I'm going to do is give it a coat of medium brown paint on both sides. Where are you watching from? I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a comment. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the United States. I'm going to use two different crackle methods. One gives you small cracks and the other one gives you large deep cracks. This will add to the distressed look of this cutting board. The first one is crackle medium which gives you the smaller cracks. I'm not covering the whole board, I'm just putting it on spots here and there. Once that dries I'll add crackle method number two. The next crackle method is Elmer's glue. I'm brushing it on the cutting board around and joining the first crackle method. I have some great videos coming up in the near future. I'm doing a liquor bottle, a unicorn, and a peacock, just to mention a few. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Now I'll brush a light tan paint over the entire surface and let it dry. You can actually watch all the cracks appear as it dries. In fact, as I'm painting, the cracks are already starting to appear. I'm going to use a gel stain to darken it up a little bit. I thinned it out with a little bit of water and I'm brushing it on the cutting board and then wiping it off. It leaves it a nice color. Now I'm going to add an antiquing medium, which is even darker brown. I'll do the same procedure, brush it on and then wipe it off while it's still wet. But this one will stay mostly in the cracks. I sprayed a little bit of water and wiped it again to lighten the surface up a little bit. It's hard to believe that this was white plastic a little while ago. Now I'll do all the same procedures on the other side of the cutting board. And once both sides are dry, I'll give them both a coat of matte sealer. I bought these pretty sunflowers and butterflies SVG on Etsy. And I'm going to let Cricut cut them out for me. And I'm at the Cricut machine right now. Here we go. This machine is truly amazing. And if you don't have a Cricut machine, you can always cut these out by hand as well. I cut two of each butterfly because I'm gluing them together with Mod Pods. I will need color on both sides for my 3D effect. I want to make sure you can't see any of the white paper 
So I'm putting some dark brown paint along the edges of all the butterflies. Make sure you stick around. At the end of this video, I'll be showing you how to make a beautiful vintage bow. I'm bending the wings upward and curling them a little bit to make them look natural. And then I'm adding another coat of Mod Podge to stiffen them up and keep them the way I just put them. I'm adding a coat of Mod Podge on the bottoms of all the butterflies as well. I'm using some Delight Clay to make a couple of really cute little bumblebees. I'm gluing a star stick on the bottoms of the bumblebees and the butterflies so I have something to hold on to while I'm working on them. I'm giving the butterflies a coat of high gloss varnish. I'm going to start painting the bees now. I'm starting with a gold base on the body. Then I'll stripe it with some black and paint his little head black as well. I lightened up the gold paint with some water so that they look a little bit lighter shade of gold than the body. After I paint the bees, I'll add a coat of some glossy varnish. After the paint dries, I'll add some antiquing medium. I'm adding a little water to thin it down because it's a little bit too thick coming straight out of the bottle. I'm painting it on the bees and wiping it off and it'll stay just in the cracks and crevices to make any detail stand out. I'm painting just their wings with dragonfly iridescent paint. It'll make their wings look really pretty. And then another coat of glossy varnish. I cut out an extra set of sunflowers so I could have extra parts for my 3D effect. Right now I'm cutting out the parts that I'll need. Then I'll give them a coat of Mod Podge. Front and back. I'm using some medium brown watered down paint to add some shadowing on the sunflowers. I'm going around all the edges again so that you don't see any white paper. And then I'm going between the petals. And I'm doing the same thing with the leaves and the stems, just using a darker green paint. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm ready to decoupage the sunflowers to the cutting board. I'm painting the area with some Mod Podge. After I add the flowers, I'll go over it with a sponge roller to make sure it's sticking properly and there are no air bubbles. I'm adding another coat of Mod Podge over the flowers this time and rolling it one more time. Now I'm adding the 3D parts to the flower and I'm giving the petals another coat of Mod Podge to make sure they're good and stiff and don't fall over. I'm also adding the bottom piece of one of the butterflies. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to please give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe. If you want to be notified anytime I upload a new video, just click the bell. And don't forget to share this video with a friend. I'm removing the stir sticks now with just a snip. I want the center of the sunflowers to be 3D as well. So I'm using some delight clay to make a flattened ball for the centers. Tell me in the comments what you think of this project. I'd love to hear from you. And I answer 100% of all the comments I receive. Let me know what you'd like to see more of in the future. Mason jar decorating, mixed media projects, or more decoupage projects just like this one. I added a couple of stir sticks to these two and now I'm going to paint them with a medium brown. Paint is dry, so now I'm going to antique them. And I'm not watering the antique down this time because I want it to be really dark. I'm adding some metallic luster rub to all the petals and the flower centers to make them shimmer. I'm a fan of shimmer. I'm gluing the flower centers on the cutting board now and the last piece of my 3D petals.
and I'm going to add some gloss varnish to the butterfly that's already decoupaged on the cutting board so it'll match the other butterflies. I want the flowers to look like they're standing out over the cutting board, so I'm adding some shadowing with the antiquing medium. Tell me in the comments what you think of this project. I'd love to hear from you. And I answer 100% of all the comments I receive. Let me know what you'd like to see more of in the future. Mason jar decorating, mixed media projects, or more decoupage projects just like this one. I'm sorry, I got this out of sequence a little bit. After I did the shadowing and before I glued the flower centers and painted the butterfly with gloss varnish, I sprayed the cutting board with matte sealer. And here comes my favorite part. I love when it's time to put it all together. I have everything laid out on the cutting board the way I want it. And I'm taking each piece off one at a time and gluing them down with a hot glue gun. I'm using my Shorebonder cordless hot glue gun. It is so nice not to have a cord in your way when you're crafting. I'll leave a link for you. I'm using a little bit of black paint and a really fine brush to add the butterfly's little antenna. This is white puff paint. It's for fabric, but you can use it for all types of crafts. It has a very tiny opening so you can get very precise with it. I'm making little dots to look like the bees are moving around. I'm using some satin varnish to cover where I added the butterfly's antenna just to protect it. Just to pretty this up a little bit, I'm adding some gold rub to all the edges of the cutting board. And now it's time to make that vintage bow I told you about. I cut a length of yellow satin ribbon and now I'm painting it on all sides with the same gold paint that I used for the butterflies and the medium brown paint. I'm just smearing it all over on all sides and then I'm going to scrunch it up in a little ball, tie it with some twine and let it sit overnight.
I'm unwrapping my little ribbon ball and it looks so old and vintage. I love this look. I added some natural ribbon that has a wired gold edge and then I'll add the vintage bow on top. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you make this project. I'd love to hear from you. I put together a playlist of similar projects that you may enjoy. Click the picture on the right to be taken directly to that playlist.